Right, YouTube, how are you doing? I'm going to show you how fast you can make a, a skin for a gun in my tools through Blender. So um, the only tool that isn't mine is the import. So I can import a P3D. This is not my tool. This is found on GitHub. There will be a link in the description now to install that. Um, yeah, so let's get started, shall we? So I import the model, obviously. So we import the gun. I'm going to use the default gun that I always use, which is the SRS from um can't remember what gun pack it is let's have a look rev guns so rev guns srs i use so i've got this mlod you won't have this mlod my tool will give you this mlod so you, you install my tool the p3d converter and you you just double click on the srs or your, any of your p3ds and it will automatically generate this mlod for you so you can import this into blender that's the original one won't import and when you get it it looks like crap i have a tool for that too so you click on the lowest denominator whatever you want to call it lowest number of these up here look you can see it imports all this crap you don't need any of that so the lowest one the orange bit not the white bit so you click on the orange bit you click on this orange bit down here the object tool and i have this tool here as well the daisy import cleanup this is again available on my website you clean up and it's done that for you so it's um where'd it go i've lost it i'm pressing too many buttons at once here i've lost i lost my gun there we go so we have the gun, it's all already broken it down into hidden selections. So this gun has four hidden selections. That has the muzzle, the barrel, the handguard, and the body. Which you can see up here in this list, it's generated the, the collections for you for what it is. So this part here, for example, uses the body co PAA and the body.rv map. But I want to name this model to glow. So body under no, I'll put glow underscore body on this one. Glow underscore body. This one here will be the Glow underscore barrel as well. I'm just making a glow texture for you guys here. So glow underscore muzzle and glow underscore hand guard. All right, so and then let's start by texturing this. So you'll see when you have my um Daisy Texture Baker installed, this tool here, you'll also get these nodes. And if you don't see this panel over here, you might see something like this. So what you do is you can either click on this folder icon up here or whichever icons in the top left, you can click on all these and it lets you pick one. So I like my asset browser over here. So I click on this one and go to asset browser here. So now I, I see this, you might see all, which is this is my texture pack right here. So I'll show you my texture pack as well, which is actually under in, it's under all here. So these are the textures that I've got in the pack. And we're going to be using this, um, I use, this one here to glow today, I reckon. Let's have a look. Yeah, no, I'm going to use lava. This one's got a glow texture built in. So what you do is you simply drag this material onto the parts of the object that you want the material on, like so. I'm going to do this to all of these guns, all these parts, I mean, sorry. Like this. So I have the lava gun, but I don't want lava. So let's um, change the colors up a little bit. So the background I want it to be black, it looks kind of cool. Let's go over what kind of colors should we go with? What, um, I'll go with a, I was trying to find a nice color here. Well, it is quick to do, which is very slow for me to pick the colors. The so purple and the green, maybe. Ah, oh, that's, that's kind of funky. Maybe the other way around. So purple here, uh, purple and. Oh, I'm Hit the wrong one again, didn't I? The purple there and green here. That looks better. Looks like, looks like the Joker. So, so this is the colors that we're going to go with. And I'm happy with everything on there. We can change also the, the detail of this. So you can see it's got a lot more detail in there. The bump. Have it sort of super smooth or you can have it sort of bumps out a little bit. I have it sort of bumps out a little bit. And the roughness. Like, if you get to a sign where you can see the shininess of it. So you can see you can make it, like, super smooth, like, rough, or super reflective. I don't want either. I want, like, a middle ground. I want about there. The metallic. I want it, like, plasticky or do want it more metally. I kind of want it more metally. And the scale of it. So you can mess around with the scale. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go with this. So... Now we've got that all set up, let's start baking these textures out. So to start baking, you can either click on the model in the viewport like this, 
so it's it has an orange outline around it or you can select it from the list here but it's got to be, you got to make sure you're selecting the actual object not the collections i've got the, uh, that selected the output directory for see how we've got um let's generate rv map down here if, for this to work flawlessly without you having to change anything you do need to set it up to your p drive location like the actual final final destination where this is going to go so my paas are going to go in flanker uh srs i'm going to make a new one here called glow so these are all my other skins that i've got that are part of this um this test mod that i'm making so in here i want to I don't even just to be straight in the glow directory on being data as well. So it's the glow and then the data. You don't have to do it like this. You can do it however you want to set that up. But now, as you can see, it's my P drive set up correctly. So I'm going to bake out the, the color, the normals, the SMDIs, which is the um, reflectiveness of it, the emissions, and I'm not using ambient shadow, so I'm unchecking that. And I want to generate an RV map. I'll turn the quality down just for this process of this video. If we turn this up to 10, it takes a little bit longer, but the details on the images are a lot, lot better. So you can change the resolution as well. I'm going to keep it at 2K. And again, you make sure that's selected and you click Bake Selected. Now just give this a little moment and it will generate the, um, the images for you. While this button's blue, it means it's baking. And as you can see, it kind of, it feels like it crashes your program, but it doesn't. It's finished. So that one's finished. Let's do the barrel as well. Bake Selected. And it's, this will be easy if you have one texture on your gun. Like, And also, if you do have one texture on your gun, I do recommend a higher resolution. Like 4K maybe if you can handle it on your on your server. But 2K is a good sweet spot, I think. Let's do the rest of these as well. And I'll show you the folder as well and show the RV map that, that generates from it. I'm selected and the guard. So while that's baking, I'm going to start opening the folder. Um, My P drive. Blanker, SRS, Glow, Data. So you can see we've got the images baked out. Let's have a look at the Glow barrel. So it's got the no HQ correctly set up. So I don't have to change none of this when I pack the, when I pack the mod. Same for the SMDI. I didn't select the ambient shadow, so we've got the default values in there. And we've got the Glow as well. So the RV maps have generated correctly. I don't have to check all of them. So all that's done. I want to add a logo to this now. So if you want to add a logo to your to your gun somewhere, like I want to add my logo here because it's just a nice smooth spot on the gun. So you want to look inside your texture pack and find find the custom logo painter. So put that onto the gun. Obviously, it won't look like this. It's because I um previously messed around with the beans one. But if you do have your old setup still on here, you press N on here, click on this image. And options. Oh wait. Yeah, tools. So node. Sorry. So when you're on this image, you go to the node tab here after you press the N. Go to properties and delete. And I create a new one. I want this to be 4K. So I select them both and times by four. And okay. So we've got a blank image on the actual thing on here. And as you can see, it's, let me get this. Um. I made the screen a little bit bigger so you can see, but now everything's all zoomed in for me. It's hard for me to see. So to get this texture what of the ones you just baked, you can see on here, it, it's got instructions here. So I'll just cover this actually real quick. I'll just go for it. I need to find my body image. So it's not in beans. It is in below. Data body co. And this one. Again, it's in beans, it's in the wrong folder. Glow, data, body, no HQ of that one. I'll select them. It doesn't seem to be um updating anything. I mean, let me just take that off. Let me sort all this out first. I think I need to make this an alpha, that's why I messed up on that. So, um, SMDI. SMDI, data. Oh, wait, no, no. I shot a gun called SMDI because I was messing with things. It's not camo either, is it? It's glow. Data, body, SMDI. And the last one is the glows, the EM emissions. Uh, glow, data, body, emission. So we go. This is how it's going to look in game. It's all the correct images on there. Let's do this again. If you, if you did delete this, you click new, 
I'm going to click on this uh, panel down here, the right side preferably, and drag the alpha all the way down. And then click OK. Now that's done. Let's paint the logo. So you click on this image. It says select before painting. You click on the actual image itself. Go to texture paint. Uh, zoom in. If you can't see your gun, click on this up here. No, not this side, this one. It's um, viewport shading. Or you can press Z and go to material preview. So if you wanted to, you could just simply paint onto the gun, which I don't want to do that. I want to use a logo. So on this panel on this side here, click on the very last one, texture, click new, click open, and find your picture of your logo. So I'm going to go to, I always forget where I put it. Uh, my D drive's slow. It's like an old mechanical one. I just clicked it. So I've got to wait for it to spin up. Yours won't crash like this. It's just my drive's super duper slow. Oh, my logo is actually in there as well. So oh, this is the E I clicked on afterwards. Images, flanker logo, PNG. So you've got this all set up. You click on the top one, the uh, tools. So it's like a screwdriver and a spanner. And you scroll down until you see this texture panel here. So you click on this. Uh, where it says tiled, change that to stencil. And now if you move your mouse over here, you can see you've got the stencil in the bottom right corner. And to move it around, you use your right click. So you right click and you move it into place. Shift right click to resize it and control right click to rotate. So I'm going to get it a very big one on the side here. And before you paint it, you need to make sure this first one, this first block here, is set to pure white. So it's all like, let's just do a, a weird color like this so I can help you reset it. You turn the hue down, saturation down, and value up to one. And that'll give you a pure white. And then you just simply paint over it like so. I, I double paint over it just to make sure I've got every little bit of it. So there you go, you've got your logo painted on the side of your gun. I've got it reflective. And let's go back to the shading tab so I can mess with this a little bit. So I'm going to turn the, the uh, world strength down. As you can see it's glowing quite a lot. I don't want it to glow that much. So in this um, adjust overlay values, you can turn the glow down. I just want it to glow just a subtle amount, like so. Turn the brightness back up so I can see what it looks like in the daytime. That looks very good. Um, do I want it super metallic, like super reflective, or do I want it like a dull kind of metal? Yeah, I want it back there. Roughness, same again. This controls like the, the roughness of the image. And that's like that. Yeah, that's fine. And the bump, how far it bumps in. So I'm happy with how that looks. And now you just simply bake this one out again. So I've got the body selected. You don't have to change the directory because it'll overwrite the old ones. But if you do want to change the directory, the, you don't want to generate RV mats again. It's simple simple because it'll mess up the... um. Because what it does when it finds that RV mat and it will add the new data to the bottom of the existing file. So it'll break your RV mat if you do that. So when you're, when you're doing this texture paint, you don't want to generate RV mat selected. I keep it in the same directory because I'm confident that I'm going to be happy with this, I'm going to overwrite the original images. So I click Bake Selected. And we'll just give that a moment. And any moment now. <laughs> there we go, that's finished. I'm going to minimize Blender this time in case I need to change anything. Let's have a look at the body. This is the glow version of the body. Yep, the logo's on there. And this one's the, um, the color. So I'm happy with that. I'm very, very, very happy with that. This is all set up correctly inside of my data folder. And let's go to the config now. Config. As you can see, that's the wrong config. It is in the SRS config. So in here, as you can see, I've already got the multiple guns all set up. And all you really need to change is the name of them. So I copy this. Copy my entire uh, previous mod. And I paste it underneath. So this one's going to be called SRS Glow. SRS Glow. SRS Glow. And the directory, I called this one Glow, didn't I? So select all them Glow. Select all them as Glow. And let me just double check the actual um, file names. I'm pretty sure I changed, yeah. Oh, pardon me. Glow barrel. So I need to just add the word glow to the beginning of all this stuff here. Glow underscore. 
and the same. I think the RV mat's the same. Yeah, it is, yeah. So select all these. Flow underscore. Oh, I keep pressing plus because I've got fat fingers. Oh my god. Come on, dude. All right, so that's that's done. That's set. So I can close that. And I know these are PNG images, but I use Makiro's tools to pack the actual um PBO. So it will automatically convert all these PNGs to PAAs for me. I've got a PBO project. I've got it set to um, extract the mod directly to my actual local server. So I'm okay with doing it that way. And it, it packs a whole mod. So click crunch. Hopefully I'm not getting errors here. Just. There we go. That's done. So now I can go to my test server. If you got this far through the video, by the way, guys, hit a like and subscribe because a lot of you guys that watch these videos aren't subscribed. I'm trying to get to 500. So I reckon if everyone that watches this video subscribes, I'll get to 500 very quickly. So it, it relies on you guys. It relies on you. Whoever's sitting there right now watching this, you need to hit that subscribe button. Also, um, join the Discord as well because I've got a little community over there, like helping each other out. They're like showing off what they're doing. They're they're helping me as well with the development of this tool. They ask for like certain things that add it. So if you've got suggestions for my tools, again, there's a suggestion channel that I can suggest things in there. So let's have a look at this flow that we just made. So spawn it in a thousand state. So this is like the damage values. I don't want it to be damaged also. A thousand is like brand new. So there we go. I didn't want it super reflective, but it is super reflective at the minute. As you can see, the sunlight is shining like crazy on there. Kind of looks like a needs to be the so when you get like a new bit of PC or something like that, like the glass screen, you need to peel the plastic off. I don't know why it looks like that, but it does. Probably because I'd use a level one image quality. That's probably why it looks so bad. So there's that. Let's have a look at the night time as well. So objects, not objects, sorry, weather. Turn it to night time. No, we got you got you got yourself a glowing gun, guys. Right, so. My logo glows just a little bit, like I suggested. Oh, wait, no, there's a logo that I said not to glow, wasn't it? The actual the skin itself glows. Not not glow, sorry, reflects, but the logo doesn't. So let's double check the logo again. Because the logo shouldn't be reflective, but I think it is. Oh, no, it's not, it's not super reflective. That's perfect. I'm happy with this. So that's it, guys. That's how you can make a glowing gun very quickly in uh, Blender using my tools. And... Also, I had to import it straight into Daisy as well without any issues. So, I'm going to end the video there, guys. Please do hit that subscribe button. And it's a 17 minute video. I tried to make it a really quick video. It didn't work out too quickly, but still, a 20 minute skin, that's probably a lot better than the, what, the hour and a half it takes to do it in Photoshop. So, yeah, these tools are amazing. I reckon you should get them. I shall see. <laughs> it sounds like I try to plug my tools to you guys. That sounds really bad. You don't have to get them, but you're missing out if you don't. That's all I'm saying. Right, have a good day, guys. I'm happy editing. And I'll probably see you on my Discord. Peace out, motherfuckers. Oh, I can't say that. I sound like a fucking tool. I'm a tool. Fuck off. Goodbye. Ugh.